Welcome back, loyal subjects of funk, to a brand new Let's Funking play, and today we are going to have a Uganda at a Van Helsing, the complete, uh, the complete adventures, and um, or the incredible adventures even, and we'll get ourselves a brand a new character. Now I got them both, Van Helsing one and two, in the Steam sale, um, and I thought I'd play them in chronological order. And I thought, guys, just for you, I'll bring back an old favourite of mine. And we'll start off by cracking open a can of Indian Pale Ale handcrafted by uh, a company called Green King. So here we go. Oh, yes. And we'll pour this and then we'll get stuck into the game. It's been a long time since I've been able to have a nice beer while playing the uh while playing the game, so we'll start off by naming our character the King of Funk. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> we'll just have to have King of Funk because there isn't enough characters. And we'll go on normal. And we shall have this normal guy, this this guy who looks like Van Helsing. He looks a dog's bollocks. So there we go. I mean, we could customise him, but I think we're just going to get balls deep and um, do the story mode. It all began with a call for help. A letter from Borgovia addressed to Van Helsing. Oh, that tastes nice. The great monster slayer. My father. Ooh. He doesn't take cases anymore. But I am a hunter too. So I set off on a journey with Lady Katarina, my remarkable companion. I'm an expert on the supernatural and I seem to be drawn to it. Occasionally events get out of control. This is get me excited. And then we have to leave in quite a hurry. Sometimes it's Katarina's fault. She can be quite reckless at times. Still, she always helps me save the day. And she also happens to be a ghost. <laughs> My father rescued her from Borgovia, and she has been bound to serve our family ever since. Katarina often complains about it, but I think she really likes the thrill of the adventure. She is a charming soul, but she also has a darker side. Good. It comes in helpful when I'm in danger. Somewhere along the way, we slowly learned to work together. And finally, in the cold rain of Venice, we became a team. The last leg of the journey was by sea. Apart from the crack and the pirates and the storms, it was mostly uneventful. Oh yes. I had time to ponder my mission. I've been really looking forward Once to an Borgovia RPG. Borgovia was a dark place where monsters lived. Long ago, my father defeated the immortal kings, created a peace treaty, and entrusted the land to some enlightened individuals. What could have happened there? What could be even more frightening than the reign of monsters? The closer we drew to Borgovia, the more confusing the rumors became. The land behind the Thunderhead Mountains was wrapped in mystery. Yeah. As our carriage Come on. approached the mountain pass, I had a sense of foreboding. It didn't really surprise me when I heard an explosion. The adventure has it's just begun. Yes. This is what we want to be hearing, guys. Finally, an RPG with a seems to gonna have a good storyline, so I'm very excited about this. Did I see the words in there? Basilisk in. That means we're gonna have to be we'll be able to have a few uh, good pints in this game. Oh. So I don't know if it's just loading at the moment. The only win way in and out of uh, Bogoria through the treacherous uh, chasms of the Thunderhead Mountains. No wonder that it was always a favourite uh, hunting ground for bandits and other rascals. There's a lord and bar at the bottom, it's uh, splodges of a blood. Lagossi River. <laughs> I presume this is all uh, tributes and make believe, and it's all good. Please, just some See, it wasn't that difficult. See you later. So this is how they welcome folk around here. Yes. Why? It oh. is an ancient and venerable tradition. Look at those horse corpses. 
this looks good. This is kind of like um, Titan Quest sort of thing, and uh, what Diablo should be like. So this makes me very happy. You're gonna come with me? No, oh, she's gonna stay there. Reach the city by crossing the border. Right, I'll do a swap weapons. Oh, he hit me. Is there any loot there? Do we get loot? Oh, flintlock pistol. Longsword. Right. Oh, shit. Look at that. Turned into a million pieces of meat. Excellent. Right, let's have a look at the inventory. I is always inventory. So we've got our secondary weapon, which is the basic sword, inflicting free damage. And what we've just... sod off. What we've just picked up is, a uh, Damage 6 to 9, and damage 7 to, uh 12, but that's a two-handed sword, so we'll put the single sword on for now, I think. Um and if these wep- if this, uh oh, I don't know what- how to swap weapons. Let's have a look at inventory. Doesn't tell you. I'll stick with guns for now though, because they seem to be good. I like these guns. Have a swig of uh, ale. Oh my. That was stupid. I'm impressed actually. They do have a sense of theatrics. <laughs> you can still fly over the chasm. Really? Oh, right. Uh, sometimes I forget how human you are. We should follow the normal pathway there. Yeah, we certainly should, big man. What happens if we click this? Oh, should give me a few more tips on weapons and stuff. I like the graphics. Graphics are abs absolutely spot on. Bloody hell, these giant rats. Look at the size on them. Sit down, you Nazi filth. Oh, massive level up. Cheers, pal. Right, should we have a look at the uh, character options? And then we can level this bad boy up. So how much do we have to spend is the question. Five points. Five ability points. Um, go put one in dex... Two in dexterity, dexterity. One in body. And one in the other two. We'll do a balanced game, but I like dexterity the dexterity the most. Mmm. Oh, I'm enjoying the good ale. It's been some time. Um, so, the graphics are lovely. The atmosphere is lovely. It's just like Titan Quest set in a different era and a different spot. This is going to be a very good Let's Play. Oh, dear. I wish I knew how to swap weapons, so we'll find out in the controls. Because when they get close, what we really want to be doing is swapping to a um, sword. Die! Them ones were a little bit harder to handle. I wonder if health regains slowly over time. I do not know. There we go, one per second. That's alright. Cool. Crows carrying. Now that really does add to the atmosphere. If we have a quick look in uh, options, controls, uh, what we want is swap uh, weapon. Comparison, journal, perks, achievements, these are all standard stuff, power ups. Uh, swap weapon, ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, so if we get into close combat, we can just go BAM! And we'll get that practiced as soon as we. There we go. That is what it's all about. Very efficiently taken care of when you have the ability to swap from pistols. Even though we're living in a, a sort of musket age. Are these muskets? I don't know. They certainly are the flintlocks. <laughs> But much like in Risen 2, 
the uh, you can reload them in a second. But who cares? We're in the world of magic, aren't we? I'm not going to be in all about stuff like that. Sit down. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Now, I was going to say, how do we look at our achievements? But guess what? I've seen it in the options and it clocked it, so it's a H. So there we go, these are our achievements, and the one we got was Misfit. Won't really give us anything within the game, I don't think. <laughs> that pigeon sat the funk down, didn't it? Sit down, you Nazi scum. Lovely. I'm really enjoying this. We're going to have lots of fun here, guys. Lots and lots of fun. Look at that effective swapping of weapons. Sit down. And there's one thing I want to get here, which is, well, quality armor for a start. But this uh, carbiner, absolutely dootly. I want the carbiner. I'm all about rifles, me. I really am. So we got the quality armor. Do we, are we already wear quality armor? We certainly are, so there's no point in uh, using it further. Let's have a swig of ale before we get to the nearest tavern and crack open another can. Mm. I'll have to get myself um, a few levels of uh, Baldur's Gate 2 completed Look, because. A with a bag full of treasure. Come on! You tit end! What's the matter with him? He looked like he'd seen a ghost. No, <laughs> don't blame this on me. You start. We got we got quite a lot there. We're quite effective though. If we get this ring, which gives us plus one point uh, two four DPS, absolutely, dootly. Can't use that cloak because uh, it's for a different class. And there was three classes that we were to pick out of when we. Right, we'll swap to swords. Oh dear. Oh shit, get out of here! I do. Oh shit, companion death. Right, so she goes for a short space of time. Excellent. Um, And she falls in a weakened state for a short space of time, so she's back. Could have been worse. Let's see what we acquired from that little encounter with uh Ooh plus zero point one DPS but also plus mana and a lot of luck and spell power. Pardon. Let's uh had a little bit of a hiccup there, hope they don't persist with my uh Oh well, you got leather boots leather boots and cats and tins. Um Hope they don't persist with the fact that I am drinking ales all the time. I bridge. Kill the strange forest will swallow in the woods. I want the hat. I feel no sign of a decent inn. Why would you need an right. inn for a ghost? So I'm supposed to spend the rest of my nights among the trees. Oh dear. A that ghost's getting an absolutely hammered. But we're doing very well. Let's get in there. It's time to get in the mix with uh Sit down. We're doing awesome. Wow, we owned them then. Absolutely owned them. Very good. Oh, what's that? Oh, it was a little bird. <laughs> right, we'll go north and we'll have a Uganda around here because obviously it's not the way we have to go. Oh dear. Sit down. Ooh, I've got another level up and I haven't actually spent the points from my last level up, so let's do that now. Loyal subjects of Funk. Oh, I've only got five. Um, let's go for... What's this? Dexterity, command, range, damage. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to put four in there. In fact, I'm going to put a fifth in there and put a, and that one in body. Because I'm all about the, uh, the ranged combat. And the 
carbines, awesome. Right, so let's progress to the uh, the town itself. So we can find ourselves a nice inn that we can sit down and uh, knock a few ones back. Oh, these are hideous! <laughs> oh yes. Well, you can tell that the uh, ranged power has gone up. It's just a pity, like, if you miss it, it'll run forward slightly. Oh, here we go, at the town gates. So. They all say that, but I won't let in any dangerous feeds on my watch. No, sir. How dare you? <laughs> I'm going to tear you apart, and then I'll teach you some manners. Should have no, ghost. I, I didn't mean you, my lady. The undead nobility of Borgova are always welcome to haunt here, but you. <laughs> With the Van Helsing hat. We don't like your sword here. With your weapons and bad manners. I am a monster hunter. Of course you are. <laughs> or you are just, uh, just a, a troublemaker. Trouble Very, uh... Oh, you don't have to worry about my... Westland's sir. accent. I keep him on a short leash. Katarina. Thank you, my lady. You can pass. And your manservant, too. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. Fine. Don't even thank me. Let's get inside then, guys, to uh, this town. Marco Marcuna. Did we pass that hill, uh, in? Oh no, it's this way. We're going this way. Right, so the level is now uh, loading. And so far, my first impressions are absolutely fantastic. I like that. It's much much the same as uh, Titan Quest if you played that, which I will be doing a let's play of at some point in time. So yeah, I tell you what, if um if I get some new RAM, I'll be loading this up with a uh, DIM RAM, which is in the Steam library at the moment. We won't have to sit through those waiting screens now, will we? Right. Now where's the nearest a tavern? We got oh, there's a, a a bed and breakfast up here. What is that? The fuck you didn't is that? Recognize it? That's the inn. The dark material of creation and dreams, but that's a myth. Borgovia <sighs> is the only place where the ink leaks through the cracks of the world. Indeed, so you can enter the ink here. Yes, <laughs> and then you can travel below or behind this world and appear at certain places. That's the ink walk. Oh, you mean teleport? That is such a cliched word. I don't like the Roy Sackton and Ran Helsing himself, but I like the surrounding Roy Sackton's like the proper English farmer, uh, Westland sort of thing. I like that. He sounds too manly, he sounds too heroic. Like he knows he's the dog's bollocks, I don't like that. I don't want him to know he's the dog's bollocks. Oh, here we go, shopkeeper. Let's have a look. What can we purchase for ourselves? Plus three dexterity from that ring. I'm not going to purchase anything. What I'm just going to do is sell him just about everything that we have. Are they the same pistols? Oh, that one's got um, some special abilities, this one. Our essence capacity 16. I'm not a Claymore fan. Ooh, a great sword. I might go with that, you know. But I'm gonna keep this as a backup. Get rid of these. What's this here? Yeah, this is for the other class that we turned down when we were creating our character. Fuel pipe discharger. And that's for mechanics only. Well you're certainly not a mechanic, that's for certain. Alright. There we go. Now, five gold. Two, right? You're drunk. I want to get inside this tavern. What the fuck do you mean, taverns aren't? You can't go in taverns on this game. Can you even go in buildings at all? That'll hugely disappoint me if we can't go in there, taverns. Nothing that I want to buy. Ooh. Except, oh, we already have them. 
So we've done well to find that. I presume the loot's randomly generated like uh, other games. There we go. We've even got the classic Diablo Titan quest uh, storage crate uh -huh. in the middle of town. A leather coat and a whip for sale. Good condition, slightly worn. I already have a hat. Still, a whip could have been useful at the bridge. <sighs> a proper hunter at last. Excellent. But suddenly, someone appreciates me. Bah! They all forgot that monsters are dangerous. That's what peace does to you. Is there anyone <laughs> who can tell me more about Borgova? Talk to the alchemist, if you can. But the remedy travelers put a curse on him, so he can't speak anymore. Lovely stuff. They love curses. It's nice to see that they are sticking to the tradition. Katarina, please. How can I help that poor man? Go to the Romany tribe and ask them to remove the curse. As simple as that, eh? <laughs> I'm sure it's not quite that simple. I'm sure we'll find the Romany uh, peoples, or Romany peoples, and uh, Welcome, as soon as we do that, lady. And a good I presume you. that they we will uh, ask me to do the something for them, so then that they need to talk to lift the, the curse. Mayor. Who knows and where do I find him? He went out to investigate a wagon that got lost on the forest road with some valuables. Yes, right, so we have to go and look for him. Yet. It's never. It's never that easy. Exactly. Ooh, level ups. Right, let's level our, our character up. That'll do. Right. Um, I'm obviously making him more proficient with the ranged weapons. So I think it's uh, pretty obvious that the way to go is north. Where it's telling us to on the map. I'm just gonna have a quick walk around town though, and um, we'll explore and then we'll leave this spot and go in search of the mayor and uh, other peoples. I think we need all three, whatever that's missing from here. Right. Um, Who was this? this is just Borislav, Oops, as sorry. Say around here. He used to be a great king. The last mortal who could rule Bogotá. It's a nice statue, like I, I, I give you that. And why are there empty holes at his feet? Mm -hmm. That, my friend, is He's a, a true mystery. mystery. Well, there's obviously going to be some sort of uh, gems, or some <laughs> gems is usually They're the classic, or golden artifacts or whatnot. So, unless we can actually find what it said an, an alchemist in town. The chances are we're not going to be uh, two-headed cows, just like in Fallout. Don't. I thought I was going to shoot it there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's about time we headed out into the wilderness, the abyss, and we made a living for ourselves, guys. So let's go into Clockwood, and obviously we're going to find the mayor along the road and find the Romany people and get that curse lifted. So guys, I'll catch you in the next session of Let's Funkin' Play Van Helsing when we enter Cloakwood, so thanks for watching and goodbye.